Now I'm going to set the angle at 45 degrees. But how accurately can I do that? I don't think I can do that any better than one degree. I'll try to do the best I can, but I can't really guarantee you that I'm accurate to one degree. So now comes the question, what happens with the sine of 2 alpha? Because we're going to measure OS. What happens with the sine of 2 alpha? The sine of 90 degrees is 1.0000. But what would be the sine of 88 degrees? That is the value that I cannot exclude if I'm off by one degree. And that value is 0.9994. That is so close to 1 that it is only off by 0.6%. 0.06%. And that is so low compared to 5%, forget it. Forget the error in alpha. We can completely forget it. There's a reason for that. When alpha is 45 degrees, then 2 alpha is 90 degrees. And the sine curve goes like this at 90 degrees. It's almost flat here. So even if you're off in angle by a little bit, you're still very close to 1. That's the reason. So all we have to worry about is the uncertainty in V0 squared. And so now comes my big prediction. I'm going to make a prediction now. For 45 degrees, that OS equals V0 squared. We have that. That is 60.2. And we have the sine of 2 alpha is 1, and we divide by... 9.8, that is 6.14 meters with an uncertainty of 5%, right? Because that's the uncertainty in V0 squared. And so that is an uncertainty of 30 centimeters, actually 31 centimeters. This is my prediction for an angle of 45 degrees. This will only holds if there is no air drag or if the air drag is negligible. And of course, equally important, that that spring gun, when the ball comes out, that the, the velocity square is indeed within the range that we have assumed and that it doesn't have bad days and good days. There's no way I, that I can check that anymore. All right? So we're going to mark the 0.614. This is 1 meter, 2 meter, 3 meter, 4 meter, 5 meter, 6 meter, 6.14. 14 centimeters. My God, it's all the way here. And then I allow for an error of about 30 centimeters. Did I do that right? That is correct. 45 degrees, a 30 centimeter uncertainty. That is all the way up to here. And then the next one, roughly 30 centimeters. So that's where, if our calculations make sense, that's where the bolt should hit. Now, I would like you to come here, if you don't mind, and stand here. And the moment that that ball hits, pew, point your finger at it. Don't do it before I shoot, but just after I shoot. And then we'll hope for the best. Yeah? Okay. You're not nervous, right? Where, what happened with that ball that I had? Did I put it in my pocket? Oh, it's here. Thank you. So I'm going to set it now to the best I can at 45 degrees. And so I can never shoot it any further. This is the, the angle, this is the maximum possible distance. You ready? You are? Don't look at me, look there. It goes fast. Three, two, one, zero. 
your finger there. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that amazing? Do you see now how important it is that you have uncertainties in your measurements? In high school, you would have said it has to hit there. Boom, man. It has an error. <laughs> and the error has to be taken into account. Where's my ball, by the way? Boy. Oh, I have it. Oh, here. Ah. Okay. You can sit down now. You did great. It worked just because you were there. <laughs>